I have a bunch of different ideas like last um, five years and I keep it somewhere behind my head. And then um, like a puzzle, zigzag puzzle. And then um, also my father passed away um, six years ago. My mother became alone by herself. And then dealing with all this and then talking with my mother, um, getting old, and then uh, the last stage of life, I'm really curious about myself because, you know, when you reach 55, our age, starting seeing that coming, and half is done and coming, and that was first concept. I, I always have those all my life. And then I, Nikola Everton, um, introduced uh, Pavel Karmanov, his music. It's called Birthday Present for Myself. And then I heard that music. And then suddenly, all the zigzag puzzle, I had it all last ten, five years. And then coming like, tick, 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 you know, those uh, magnet? And the magnet, and then the sound goes to coming. That image, just everything, and oh yeah, that fit here, oh that fit here, and Alison, oh yeah, yeah. I always wanted to work with Alison. I even tried like, uh, what is that, three years ago, but it didn't happen. And then suddenly Alison's come to the puzzle. So now you decided to put the musicians on stage and you've got Alison on stage yes. singing, and, and this is that music that you're working with. Yes. In that. And so, what's, Alison, what's that role of the music? And, and, and you guys all on stage. Mm -hmm. It's five, five musicians on stage? Six? Uh, three, four, five. Five, five, five yeah. Five, yeah. yeah. yeah uh, I think this is part of the brilliance of Heroes uh, Project is that it really defies definition. Um, is it a dance piece? Is it a, a theatric, theatrical presentation? Is it a concert? It blurs the lines between all those things and it fits thematically really beautifully with everything else. We've got the duality of life and death, there are themes of um, struggle and uh, acceptance and, um, and I think through it all Hero's got a line about finding a middle space, that that space where you're not completely disengaged but you're not desperate for control, that that is the moment where things become clear. And so the music of Karmanov is minimalistic and in that minimalistic um, uh, quality that he achieves, um, the the invitation for the audience is, is the same. Um, it's familiar enough tonally, it's uh, repetitious enough that it doesn't challenge you unduly, and yet it's engaging enough that you don't check out. So it's that middle space as well. Um, so there are all sorts of themes of just finding that balance. It's about finding balance. And I really think it's a beautiful idea that Hero has to combine these different art forms so that the audience themselves will need to um, engage in a way that is not trying to fit this into some box, some preconceived notion about what it is, nor are they just kind of giving up and saying, well, I can't, I, I don't know what that is. There's a, there's a middle space for the audience as mm -hmm. well. So the notion of dance, you know, for you, you know, people, uh, we were talking earlier about, you know, when you're 20 years old, you can do things, and now you, you were talking with your mother about a piece, and now you are a man of a certain age. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the body lets us down sometimes. So this whole concept of moving to theater, the yeah, dance, yeah the music together, how does that, how has that worked for you in this process? It's, uh, for me, um, I don't know, everybody called me dancer, but because I was in dance company for a while, but uh, I come from actor, acting, and then, but it doesn't matter anymore, like, uh, they both use this body, limited body, and then uh, also the stage, I love the stage theater because that's kind of one night you do show, the real person comes in and then they play and then it's gone, Sh curtain shut, then he's dead actually. You're, he's dead in audience's you know, image and then that's it. And then sometimes the best part is I, when I was waiting behind the set and nobody knows I'm existing, right? For audience as a character. Nobody knows yet, but I know I'm here. And then, but nobody knows till I come up on the lights. And then somehow that really 
that part of the edge, like middle space, always I have, I like the edge, like after, um, you're living here, and then suddenly you go beyond the other side, the dying, people say dying, but you know that drill the edge, but if this edge, if you want to stretch like really big, and I think edge is really not become edge anymore. It's big, nice field, like flat field. And being that flat field is really important. That's what I think. <laughs> and also dance too. I always have more interesting when people from this position to like, why are they starting suddenly moving? Like, yeah, yeah, I want to move, right? Or suddenly people living, moving, dancing, and then become like old person. They don't move that much. They just sit there. And I like that. The making why you move, why you don't move, why you stop moving. Because something happened. And then I like that moment. Like same things between, you know, moving and not moving. So it's really, it's, it's an exploration of the movement yeah, yeah. in the body. Alison, what's your role on the stage in this piece? In this piece, I'm Hiro's um, dead wife. So she's, she's died four years prior mm. to this moment. Um, and, uh, and Hiro is in the last stages of his life. And so his character is um, really skating on that thin space that he was talking about between um, life and death, whatever happens after. And so as time goes by, that space becomes thinner, reality becomes blurred, mm -hmm. and it leaves uh, both the characters and the audience, I think, wondering what is actually happening, what is um, Hero's character's imagination, what is uh, um, not so much imagination, but, uh, but a reality. Maybe, maybe she is appearing to him, mm -hmm. we don't know. Mm -hmm. So that's been part of the exploration as well. Mm -hmm. This process has been, um, I think, for Hero and I to kind of explore what is real and what is uh, in his imagination and what is possible, yeah. what might be possible. And the grand premiere is, is in Nelson in mid-November? Yes. And then you come to Golden? Yes. You excited? Yeah, very exciting, going Golden. <laughs> <laughs> because I always uh, just want to share with this piece, like, to everyone what they really think. Because for me, I'm not sure is this like not dance theater, not the play, play, talking, acting, and not the music concert. And then, uh, but it's for me, it's whole good um, form to what I want to say. It's a perfect form. So um, just curious like what people think, mm -hmm. feel. Yeah. Big themes. Yeah that affect us all, for sure. Thank you. Thank you.